Hey, what's up you guys? It's Olivia and today I'm doing a video about my favorite first sentences. So I'm really big on first sentences in books. Like if I can't decide what I want to read next, I take some books off my TBR and read the first sentence and I'm like, if it catches my eye or draws my attention or whatever, then that's what I read. And I don't know, I just think the first sentence of the book is one of the most important things and it's like a way to draw your readers in. I think I might make this a series because obviously I'm always reading new books, but I have a collection of books today, I have, so I just counted, I have 12 books today and I'm just gonna show you the books and read you the first sentence and yeah, well let's get started. So the first book I have is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Sands and the first sentence is, one summer night I fell asleep hoping the world would be different when I woke. And I don't know, I just like that first sentence. The next book I have is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. So this book I have the first two first sentences and one is just like the note from the author who is really the main character and it's I have no idea how to write this stupid book and then the first sentence in the first chapter is so in order to understand everything that happened you have to start from the premise that high school sucks. The next book I have is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley and the first sentence is I was 17 years old when I saw my first dead body and if that doesn't make you want to keep on reading I don't really know what does. The next one is probably a giveaway and it's even in the trailer for the new movie, but it's Paper Towns by John Green and the first sentence is, the way I figure it, everyone gets a miracle. My next book kind of contradicts the last one and that's The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider and the first sentence of this book is, sometimes I think that everyone has a tragedy waiting for them, that people buying milk in their pajamas or picking their noses at stoplights could be only moments away from disaster. The next book is the book I am currently reading and that is Noggin by John Corey Whaley and the first sentence is, listen, I was alive, and then I wasn't. I mean, come on. The next book I have is possibly my favorite first sentence of a book, and that's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And there's kind of a story behind this. Last year, when I had actually just finished the beginning of everything, I really loved that book, and I was like, wow, I, I like can't even start another book today, I'm destroyed. But my friend and I were gonna read this together, and she's like, I really wanna start it, like, right now, please, please, please. And I was like, yeah, I, I know, I mean, I guess so, fine, and I didn't know if I was actually going to start it that night, but then I read the first sentence and I was instantly hooked. I had just come to accept that my life would be ordinary when extraordinary things began to happen. This next one is also a favorite of mine. It's actually the introduction, but it's the introduction is the first sentence of the book, and that's This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. And John Green wrote the intro, and I don't know, he just started it perfectly, and it starts... My friendship with Esther Earl began as so many great love stories do, at a Harry Potter convention. The next book I have is Daughter of a Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, and the first sentence is, Walking to school over the snow-muffled cobbles, Karu had no sinister premonitions about that day. Which, I don't know, I just love that first sentence because it doesn't, like, completely capture you, but you're like, sinister premonitions? What, what actually happens? So... The next book I have is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, and the first sentence is, I've been locked up for 264 days. Like, what? Locked up by who? Locked up where? Why are you locked up? What's going on? And the last book I have for today is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, and the book starts with, The demon exploded in a shower of ichor and guts. So those were some of my favorite first sentences. Let me know some of yours, and I'll see you all soon with another video. Bye!